Hi guys, Jacob from Gamer Cove Studios here and today we're going to learn how to make a price tag icon. Real nice, uh, neat uh, little icon that you can use on your website or different, uh, if you have a store, um, just show you how to do something kind of basic that looks really neat. And so this is what we're going for here um, and of course you can take what we learned today and uh, you know use your own different gradients and add your own style to it to make it even better. So this is just kind of more of a basic um, price tag uh, icon. Uh, first of all, our canvas is 800 by 600. Um, that's what I'm using. And then if we go to um, our preferences um, under the rulers, the grid I'm using is grid line every 100 pixels and subdivisions of 5. So you can set that before you start. And then when we view the grid, you'll see it's um, nice and uh, even all around so we can use this really nicely. So to get started um, we'll zoom in a little bit here and we'll use our lasso tool and we're going to create the overall price tag shape real quick and then we'll go up um, three blocks and we'll stop there and then we're going to go um, up three and in three and we're going to go over um, what is that? Six. Make sure everything's straight again. Right on that mark there and then go back down to where you started here. Make sure it's straight. Right there is good. And then back over till you see that dot means you're connected, but still make sure that your line is straight and it'll kind of disappear if it's straight. And there you go. So here is our shape of our price tag. But we're going to uh, round the edges a little bit by um, going to refine selection. So edit, refine selection, and we'll bring it to negative 20 or greater. So we'll do 25 should be fine. Uh, yeah, that's okay. And then do it one more time, edit, refine selection, and we'll actually go plus um, back up to close to our where we started there and then we're gonna smooth three whatever looks good to you so that looks that looks pretty good right there now that we have our shape make sure you choose a um, a new layer and what we're gonna do is um, you're gonna fill this with black and I've already done that here so I already got my black layer and then choose a new layer and fill that with white so we have two a uh, black layer, a white layer, then you're going to command click on the white layer, add another layer, and this is where we do our gradient. So I've just created a, a metal gradient here. Um, I'll just show you the colors. That's the outside colors are the same. That's actually a little different there. You can use what you want and then an inner lighter color there. And that's just a simple gradient I'm using for, for this. So use your gradient tool. We're on our new layer, and so we'll just, I'm gonna back out here a little bit, pull this gradient evenly, and 90 degrees, so that's good. Okay, so that's, that's fine. We can command deselect there. And then what we're going to do with our, um, our white layer, we're gonna to go to our move tool, and we're gonna move this um, to the left two and up two and then we're going with our keyboard and then we're going to go to the black layer we're going to move down and over just like that okay so that's good for that now let's do um, let's work on our inner section here that's going to have the color and so we'll just uh, choose a new layer and then use the marquee tool, square, mode one, and we'll just go to the corner here, pull um, to the other corner real nicely, and we'll actually go all the way up to right where the curve starts. So we're about one um, grid box in on each side, and then we'll just go to the corner here. Okay, and then we're also gonna round these corners with a refined selection. Going to bring that around in a little bit. Let's say 14 is good. And then we're going to go back again, back out 
find selection again and we'll just go up just a little there and this is where you kind of have to mess with the smooth you might have to pull this back in a little to get that and I like that it looks great rounded corners are nice um, it's smooth it doesn't have that weird pyramid effect so just mess with it so I got eight percent and one smooth of one and that looks good and then we're gonna pull a gradient um, actually what I'm gonna do first before we do that is on this layer we're going to fill with um, we're going to fill with black. So Option Command F. Oops, we filled with white. That's okay. We actually need a white layer also. So then we'll go another layer. I forget to choose that first. And then black. And Option Command Fill. So, and that's an okay. So we've got on the inner part we've got a white layer and a black layer. And now we're going to do the gradient layer above that. It's kind of the same as we did on the outer tag. So on the inner part, let's now go to our gradient. And we're gonna use a, a green one. And I'll show you the, what we used here. Here's the code, should be the same. And then the middle is just a little bit darker. There's that. That's just the gradient I'm using. You can use whatever you want. Experiment with all types of gradients. We'll actually get a little closer, about one, one out. One, one box out, I think is good. Okay, that's that. And then Command D select. And of course, this, the same reason we had the black and the white, um, we were gonna move these, so make sure you're on your move tool. And then use your keyboard to move it, um, the black over and up a little bit. And see, we're getting that inset effect by doing it. And also do the white um, to the right and down. Now you're getting, um, you're, you're creating, it looks like it's pushed in a little bit. So you're getting a light source on this edge and a little bit of shadow on this edge here. Same with what we did there. We can check it with the black. So there's the beginning of our tag.